This is the Pegasi Zentorno, one of the finest cars on GTA Online and one of our particular favorite vehicles, it has to be said. And this is the Blazer Aqua, a kind of ATV scum jet ski type thing, I couldn't really tell you. And this is the Alamo Sea, situated just over halfway up the GTA map. Ah, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, and you join us today as we undertake another Top Gear style challenge, and this will be our third in fact. And on this occasion, we're going to be uh, racing the Zentorno and the Aqua across the, uh, across the Alamo Sea there, from one bridge to another. Okay, and this is uh, basically based upon the, uh, the uh, challenge that uh, Top Gear did when they uh, raced an Alpha along uh, Lake Como against a very similar sort of vehicle to the uh, the Blazer. Okay, and we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Right, okay, don't want to get run over by any car to start with, that's for certain. Okay, and on this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be taking the Blazer Aqua, and uh, as always, as I can't get my paws on uh, Mr. Raccoon's video there, unfortunately, we're going to have to splice in some of my own footage along with this race, give you an idea of what's going on. Okay, and here I go. I've gone onto the Aqua, and I'm heading down onto the Alamo Sea, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Okie dokie. I'm already on the water, and at this point, Mr. Raccoon's going to be driving along. Uh, he's going to be making the initial stages of this journey, ladies and gentlemen, which is going to be along the uh, the asphalt there, and I'm going to be uh, keeping an eye on him from the water here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. This is the question, ladies and gentlemen. Can the Zentorno beat the uh, Blazer Aqua along the uh, the, uh, the distance of the Alamo Sea, and we're going to find that out right now, now, aren't we? Okie okay, dokie, I'm doing my best to go up there now, Mr. Raccoon sort of had to come off the tarmac there, or the asphalt, so to speak, and he's on the dirt roads, and that's really uh, not going to be uh, doing him any favours, and all I've got to do is uh, just coast along these waves, ladies and gentlemen, really not a difficult task for me, I can go in a straight line, but uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Raccoon there's going to have to sort of weave and uh, sort of swerve around those corners, you know, trying to avoid the traffic and whatnot, uh, and it's going to be a lot harder task for him, you know, particularly on the those roads, as I say, he has got a lot more power. You can see he's slightly in the lead there, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, like I say, he's got more ground to cover because I'm going as the crow flies. Okie dokie, here we go. Like I say, dirt roads, lots of corners, and traffic on the road going to make things very, very difficult for him, ladies and gentlemen. He's approaching this dog leg bend here, and as you can see, yes, there he is on the map. He's going to be coming around at any moment, ladies and gentlemen. Now, all I've got to do is uh, we're reaching about the halfway point now. I'd say, ladies and gentlemen, now all I've got to do is get to that bridge, and uh, he's got to negotiate all of these tight angles, ladies and gentlemen, and that really is going to slow him down rather a lot, you know. Okie dokie, now he's somewhere over there, not entirely certain where, but uh, all I've got to do, like I say, is keep uh, keep my sort of hand on the throttle there and keep on going, and he's got to uh, make his way down these dirt roads uh, and sort of get around the corner and whatnot, and it's going to be rather difficult for him, I'm sure. Okie dokie, now here we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, this is getting rather interesting now, it's getting very close, he is sort of uh, slipping into the lead there, he has got more power, ladies and gentlemen, obviously he can get up at faster speed, but like I say, he's got to negotiate those bends, uh, and he's, uh, it's going to be very, very close, one would assume by looking at the map right now. Okie dokie, right here, yo, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to find out the uh, the answer to the question. Uh, can the Zentorno get across uh, from one end to the Alamo Sea before uh, someone on a Blazer Aqua not driving like that? That's for certain. Okie dokie, here we go. I'm getting closer. That's the bridge right there, ladies and gentlemen. All I can do is get under that something, and I've won, you know. And Mr. Raccoon's going to be thinking very much the same sort of thing, so he's going to be wanting to go over it. You know, if he went under it, that, that really would be a rather a rotten shame, you know. Oh, anyway, here you go. He's going to be uh, fighting his way around those bends, ladies and gentlemen. Just get rather twisty towards the end there, and I'm getting ever closer on my Blazer Aqua, and I don't think he stands a chance to be quite frank with you, ladies and gentlemen. He's got to sort of get around these bends and whatnot, and he's going to be some way over there, and I am basically at that bridge now, aren't I? Okay, if you look at the mini-map, there he is. You can see him coming along, and my goodness, this is close, and Jesus Christ, how about that? Right, okay, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that was pretty much a draw, you know? He came across the bridge just as I went under it. Okay, so we're going to give it another go, ladies and gentlemen. As before, we're going to be racing from the one end of the Alamo Sea and to the other end, to that very same bridge. And on this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be me that, uh, me that takes his end So, Mr. Raccoon, if you'll be so kind, yes, hello, Mr. Raccoon, if you'll be so kind as to throw a grenade there and, uh, uh, get a start on the Le Mans-style race. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that's the grenade, and here we go, right, okay, got it, got it. 
careful not to get run over again. You know, these cars really could get startled by explosives. Okie dokie, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to hop into the Zentorn. Mr. Uh, Mr. Raccoon's got away first there, but I'm going to get in front of him because the uh, Zentorn is a far more powerful vehicle. And as I say, ladies and gentlemen, the first stage of this uh, the, this race is going to be along uh, the asphalt here, and that's rather easy for this particular car. And Mr. Raccoon will be out there, it's saying he'll be racing along and trying to keep an eye on me as he goes. And uh, there we go, I'm going to be somewhere along there, aren't I? Going along, you can see me on the map there. Okie dokie, well, actually, you can see me on the map there now, more realistically. Okie dokie, now, like I say, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, got rather fine conditions to do this test you know did uh did, did uh sort of do it uh got the exact same result it's okay well here we go on to the third there wasn't it wasn't that yes like i say did perform this test you know right after right off the bat right after mr raccoon you know got the exact same result would you believe both crossed the finishing line at the exact same time it really was but rather spectacular it would have been very interesting to see but unfortunately i neglected to record it or at least my computer did one or the other not taking the blame on that one okie kokey so yes we have to rerun this test ladies and gentlemen uh, it would make no difference either way we'd have to splice in footage but it'd give you a very good idea of what's going on okay here we are right okay i've got to try and hold it no it's going down a bit there wasn't it okay so here i am like i say this is me ladies and gentlemen now in the uh, in the uh, zen corner there and i've got to try and sort of get my way across to that bridge and mr raccoon will just be sat there on the blazer aqua happily coasting along having a, a, a not a care in the world you know all he's got to do like i say is go in a perfectly straight line and i've got to sort of weep between those rocks there and whatnot get around all these corners and everything and here we go, I'm approaching that hairpin bend, and okay, just about got around it now, didn't I? Okie dokie, right, and down, like I say, Mr. Raccoon there is going to be, uh, you can see, yes, you can see, going around the corner at the same time as it happens as he was doing that test. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that'll give you an indication of exactly where I am. I'm going to be coming down that straight, and here I am now, ladies and gentlemen, right, I'm coming down to another very sharp bend, ladies and gentlemen, got to go around it, and not into, which way do I go? Okay, right, it's that way. Okay, can't be making those kind of mistakes now, can I? Right, okay, that's not going to help me at all. Right, I really do want to uh, get there before. Or the uh, before the blazer aqua ladies and gentlemen the last one was a draw as you saw ladies and gentlemen very very close indeed and uh as i say the same Dorno is really a particularly favorite vehicle of ours and i certainly don't want to see it losing to the blazer aqua and i'd rather see it far rather see it win than draw to be quite frank with you and right now it's all on me ladies and gentlemen i'm the one behind the wheel and i've got to try and get this vehicle from one end to the lmoc to the other you know and i'm not the best driver and it's gonna be rather hard job you know okay okay well we're getting closer and closer ladies and gentlemen we really are getting rather close now you can see the uh you can see the bridge there in the distance okie coke right okay mr uh, raccoon's going to be sort of doing his best there he's gonna be flying along it's not going to be much from bloody hell right i've got the sodding road okay i've got to get back on bloody hell this really isn't going the way i hope for like i say the honor and the integrity of the uh these pegasi zentorno rests in my hands right now and i'm not doing the best of jobs am i and mr raccoon's just going to be getting closer and closer to that bridge all he's got to do is sail right under it and then i'm done for right okay here we go i'm still way away oh this is not looking good Good, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go across this initial bridge. Coming down here, Mr. Raccoon's going to be getting closer and closer. There he is. He's practically under the thing. Damn, this is going to be close. Okie dokie, here we go. Right, I'm coming down. If you look at the mini map there, he's getting closer and closer. But there's the bridge. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, I made it across it first. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? So there we go. The uh, It is perfectly capable for the Pegasi Zentorno to uh, beat the Blazer Aqua down the length of the Alamo Sea along the North Shore there on the, uh, the rather dusty, windy track. And there we go, we can see Mr. Raccoon down there on the Blazer Aquarium. Doubtless he's feeling rather sore about that, you know. Okie dokie, well, never mind. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our third Top Gear test on bloody hell. Sorry, Raccoon. Right, okay, I should have expected that, I suppose. Yes, like I say, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the uh, third Top Gear test along the Alamo Sea. The Zentorno can take the Blazer Aqua. Anyway, I uh, do hope that you've enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching.